guys, it's Rach. So today I thought I would do a tag for you and it is the Colours of the Rainbow tag. But basically you go through each of the colours of the rainbow and I will show you guys a favourite product that relates to that colour. However, I am breaking the rules and I'm probably going to show you two or three products that relate to that colour because I can never just choose one. So basically this is like a bonus favourites video for you guys which I hope you'll enjoy because you guys generally really like my favourites videos. Now I wasn't tagged specifically as far as I'm aware for this tag, however most of the tags that I do I'm usually not tagged specifically for and I do them anyway. So I thought why break tradition? I might as well do this tag anyway even though I haven't been tagged. However I do officially tag all of you guys so if you wanted to do this tag and haven't been tagged then you can do it and you can say Rachel Jade tagged me and that's totally cool because I tag you guys to do this one because I think it's really fun and if you don't make videos let me know in the comments below what product you would relate to what colour. So starting off with the first colour which is red. Now if I had to think of something straight away my first thing that came to mind was my red Taylor Swift CD because I absolutely love Taylor Swift and I love that CD. But this is about beauty products so the first things I have here uh, red red lips that is what comes to mind when I think of red and I think it comes to mind for most people so I picked my YSL glossy stain in number 10 it's a gorgeous red color it lasts all day it goes on glossy the more you apply it throughout the day the longer the stain lasts sometimes it can actually be a real pain to get the red lips to disappear but I absolutely love this product I also really love my L'Oreal caress or shine caress gloss stains which this one is in Caress 300 Juliet which I would say is a dupe for the number 10 does the same thing at half the price so if you can't afford the YSL glossy stain then I would recommend the L'Oreal Shine Caress lip glosses in Juliet this red color is absolutely gorgeous and then the other red product that I was thinking of looking at my sort of current favorite favorites and it's these Kate Moss for Rimmel lipsticks. They have the red packaging for the matte colors. I have number 107 which is this really nice deep dark burgundy red color but they have some gorgeous colors in this line and since it's red packaging I figured it fit under the red category. I recommend checking these out for the price they are a really great product. Next we have yellow and at first I thought that was going to be a really hard colour to find. Even though I love yellow, I just didn't know what beauty products I had that were yellow. But then I managed to find some that I really actually quite enjoy. The first one I have are these Katy Perry Lashes by Olua and these are the Oh Honey Lashes. Out of all the Katy Perry Lashes, these are, are my favourite. They're just kind of wispy, they're not too over the top but they do give you a really full lash look. These are my second ones of these, I believe, and I just really like them. They're a great lash, and if you want to have some dramatic lashes, then I recommend checking out these ones. My next yellow product is my MAC Tender Tone in Tread Gently. And this, funnily enough, the product actually is a light yellow colour. I love the MAC Tender Tones. They do get a lot of hype. I don't know if they deserve as much hype as they get, but they are a really great product. They smell delicious like fruit. I believe it's like kiwi and strawberry or something. It's like, it's just really, really nice. I'm not going to try and describe the scent. It's very, very moisturizing. And I absolutely love it. And I hate that they're limited edition. I think one day MAC should just make these permanent line products so that we can get them all the time. Then my last yellow product that I figured deserved a mention given how much that I love it, it is my Lemon Yellow GHD Hair Straightener. I wanted to throw this in because I figured that my GHD should go in at some point throughout this tag since it is my favorite hair product of all time. I got this recently and I love it. I use it every day and they're definitely the best hair straighteners that I have ever used. The next color I have is orange and this is the one where at first I thought there is no way I have an orange product and then I managed to find three that I wanted to mention. The first product I have is my Kerastase Nectar Thermique. This is a fantastic hair product. You put it in your hair after you've washed your hair when it's kind of towel dry before you style it and it has moisturizing properties as well as heat protecting properties. I only use it in the ends of my hair because it is supposed to be for very 
for dry to very dry hair and I actually have oily hair in my roots but my ends are quite dry it doesn't make my hair sticky it doesn't make it feel tacky or hard to style but it does make my style last a little bit longer it protects it from the heat and it just adds that extra bit of moisture to my hair so I really love this product my next orange product is not actually orange again it's orange packaging but I figured that we could make that work and it's the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation I wear the color 103 true ivory I love this foundation, it's a great foundation from the drugstore. If you have oily skin, you do need to powder it and I do prefer it more in the autumn winter time. In the summer, my skin sometimes can be a little bit too oily for this product, but overall I think it's a really nice brightening foundation. And my last orange product is a hair product and it is my Aura Fluido Hair Elixir or Hair Oil. So I figured this classed as orange, it's kind of a amber color but we're gonna say it's orange this is kind of like has the same concept of Moroccan oil or something like that you can put it in your hair before you style it after you style it as like a shine serum kind of thing it's supposed to add moisture to your hair it leaves my hair incredibly incredibly soft I may like this more than my Moroccan oil and that is a big big statement um, but I may I'm still on the fence but I may like it more it also smells absolutely delicious. The next color is green and for green I picked a mascara. This is the Organic Wear Jumbo Lash Mascara from Physicians Formula. It has this really cool metallic green packaging. I really like this mascara for giving volume and separation and it does give some length too. My second green product is my Simple Kind to Skin Cleansing Facial Wipes. If you guys have seen my empties videos, then you know how much I love and use makeup remover wipes. These are awesome. They're great for sensitive skin. They don't affect my acne. They don't make my eye skin and they remove 99% of my makeup. So a really great product and worth having. I always have some makeup wipes on hand and these have become my new favorite. Blue is the next color and I also have two blue products to show you guys. The first is a nail polish and this is Secret Periwinkle from China Glaze. I really, really love this color. It's this really nice, bright, but milky blue color, if that makes sense. Like, it's a pastel color, but it still has a vibrancy to it. I love the finish of this. I love the quality of this polish, and I just think it's a really nice blue color. My second blue product is a product that I don't think I've ever talked about on YouTube, and it is the Thin Lizzy 6-in-1 Professional Powder. And as you can see, mine's actually lost some of the blue of the packaging. Basically, this is just a brown face powder. You can use it as a bronzer, as a contour, as a foundation if you have, like, if you just want to put it all over your face, kind of like a mineral foundation. There are so many other uses for it. This I used for many, many years, and both my mum and my sister use it also. However, when I got into makeup, I ended up buying up a whole heap of products. So you don't see me use this in videos a lot because I'm always trying out other new products, but this is one that I've always have in my collection and I do think it's just a really great face powder. It's mainly matte, but it does have a slight sheen to it so it can really give you a kind of glowing look to the skin. Indigo is the next color and that one was one that I struggled because indigo is kind of a dark blue purple color. So a lot of my products I'd either classify as purple or I'd classify as blue. I wouldn't necessarily classify them as indigo. But the one I've chosen to go with is my Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balms. This is kind of a dark blue purple colour, so I'm going to call it indigo in terms of the packaging. These lip balms are absolutely amazing. They have SPF 25. This flavour is grapefruit and ginger, but I have a whole heap of other um, flavours or scents or tastes, whatever you want to call them. They're usually in various handbags, that's where my others are at the moment. They have sunscreen in them, they have lanolin as a skin protectant, and they're just, they help prevent sunburn, and they also, I guess, moisturize your lips, so I really like these lip balms. Violet is the next color, which I've kind of taken as purple, because a lot of my products I probably describe as purple. My first violet or purple product is the Falsies Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline. I don't think this will be a shock to anyone. I think these are absolutely awesome mascaras. I have about three in my collection at the moment. I have like the Falsies, the Falsies Black Drama and the new one. I just, I always have one. They do have fiber extensions in them and they have a flexible brush. It's just a really great mascara. The other mascara in this violet section is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. 
that is a mouthful. But since it has purple writing, I decided to include it. This is an awesome mascara. It is my current favorite. It is really inexpensive. It is hard to get in store in Australia, but you can get it online from various sources. Great price, great product, and it is one that I've already bought a backup for because I love it that much. And my third purple product for this Colors of the Rainbow tag is my Michael Todd True Organics Kale and Clay Facial Mask. I absolutely love this mask and I decided to include this particular product because it has been a recent favourite of mine but I have been really enjoying all of the Michael Todd range which all comes in this purple packaging so I thought that, that fit for this part of the tag. The second last colour for this Colours of the Rainbow tag is pink and I have a few pink products. When I think of pink I definitely think of blush and it was really hard for me to pick one pink favourite blush but I decided to go with my Inglot blush in number 20. This is just a bright light pink colour, it is a matte finish, highly highly pigmented and I think it would suit a lot of people. It just gives you that really nice flush of pink to the cheeks. My second pink product is my Beauty Blender. The one that I use is dirty and looks like this and doesn't quite look as pink as this brand new nice clean one here so I thought I would show you guys this one. The original Beauty Blenders really don't compare to any of the other ones on the market. They're so much squishier. They, to me, they work so much better. They're fantastic for applying foundation and concealer, really blending it into your skin. And I just love the finish that the Beauty Blender gives. And then the last pink product I wanted to throw in here because this is a holy grail product of mine. One that I wish I had had when I was younger when my acne was at its worst. But I still use it today because I still suffer with acne and pimples. And I, every time I get the chance to talk about this product, I want to talk about it so that more and more people know about it. And hopefully it can help you guys. It is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. This product is actually pink, so I thought it fit in well. It's $26.95, and you can get it from Kit Cosmetics, or if you're in the States, you can buy it directly from the Mario Badescu website. Basically, what you do is put a cotton tip in through this solution to the pink stuff at the bottom, then you put it on your skin at night, and then in the morning, you like I usually remove it with a toner, or you can wash it off when you wash your face. It will dry out your pimples and significantly reduce the pimple overnight. It may not get rid of it completely, depending on the size, but use this a couple of nights in a row and the pimple will basically be gone. That is how much of a fantastic product it is and that is why it deserved to be in this tag. Okay, so to finish up this tag, the last colour we have is Multicolour or Rainbow and there was only one product that came to mind when I thought of Rainbow and it is this nail polish. It is the OPI Rainbow Connection. I just wanted to make sure I got that right. Rainbow Connection Nail Polish. This was from the Muppets Christmas Collection. It is this awesome multicolored glitter nail polish. I absolutely love this. I use it anytime I have a party or at Christmas time because I think it's really festive. It's just, it's a party in a nail polish bottle. That is how I'm going to describe it. I get so many compliments and people actually stop me to look at my nails when I wear this nail polish. So I highly recommend it and if you see it the next time you're shopping for OPI, pick it up. It will just make you happy whenever you see it on your nails. So guys, that is it. That is all my favourite products under the colours of the rainbow. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tag. Like I said, if you do this tag, please leave me a video response because I would love to see it. Or just let me know in the comments if you had some of the same products as me or what your favourite products are underneath the colour of the rainbow. And other than that, I'm going to go. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well and I will see you guys next time. Bye! If you guys like the makeup that I'm wearing in this video, I have filmed a little tutorial slash getting ready with me video which I will link just you know just below me just down there for you guys to check out so you can see how I got this makeup look. Oh God, I'm